when I built this chicken run here about uh, oh, what was it, two and a half years ago or so, uh, my intentions were to put a door on this side here and build a paddock over in this area out here. Um, but my fears were predators. Uh, we have a lot of predators here. Well, a lot of the nocturnal ones are your, your um, coyotes and your raccoons and, and things like that. But uh, during the day, we, got, we have a lot of hawks here. I've seen tons of hawks here. In fact, I got one here that I caught with my uh, cell phone as I was leaving the property. I seen it flying into the tree and, uh, and then it took off into another area. Um, but yeah, we have lots of hawks here. So I'm a little worried about that. So I want to give them a little freedom uh, better quality eggs, of course. I can let them forage for seeds and grass and bugs and things like that on here. Uh, out here, uh, it would uh, improve the quality of the eggs, uh, more nutrition, and give them some freedom to, you know, make their life a little better, put it that way. With the risk of getting killed. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. So, my main thing I have to do first is on this side here, I have to build uh, an, an opening. I have an automatic chicken door opener uh, that I used to have mounted on here. Um, it was from the Ladies First Chicken Door Opener. And I'll put a link to that website down there on, under, in the description. Uh, that one's a newer version. It works much better. Um, they're, they're awesome uh, chicken door openers. And fully automatic. Don't have to do nothing to it and uh, it works on solar batteries and I haven't, I haven't even touched that since I put it in. Anyways, I want to put a link to that video, the installation video here and I explain a little more about it. Uh, I'm going to use it. I know buddy. I'm going to use my original door that I had. I'm going to mount that onto the chicken run and build a paddock out here where they can go out and do their thing here. And I hope it all works out well. I have a chicken tractor out here also that I have a bullied hen in there. I never did reintroduce I never did reintroduce her back into the flock because they're beating up on her too much. Um, so this chicken run is going to be in in the paddock area and hopefully they can all intermingle with each other and get she can get back into the flock uh, with no problem. Um, so anyways, let me get the door mounted. We're going to put the uh, fencing in. I got some, uh, I got two 100 foot uh, rolls of uh, 48 inch uh, Premier One netting. Uh, I, I got the tallest one, well it's not the tallest one, but it's a 48 inch. Um, I've seen my birds fly, you know, roughly close to five feet. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, Okay, let me get that mounted, the door, and then we'll put the uh, fencing out here and uh, we'll see how it works.
Man, look, look how lush and green this grass is here from all the nutrients that are in that chicken run there compared to every, everywhere else. That's beautiful, huh? I gotta still dig this out here, take all this dirt out of this chicken run, and I'm gonna have to put it in a pile or something or uh, put it in my garden soon. Uh, but that is super, super nutrient dense soil right there. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get my uh, staple gun here and I'm gonna staple this down good and then I'm gonna cut it, cut an opening out here. Maybe I'll go the whole way, but we'll see. I'll cut an opening out so the chickens can uh, get in and out. Okay. All right, so what I've done is here I put an electrical outlet box. This is just to keep the switch for this door opener here uh, covered from the elements. Uh, so you can see what I've done here. If I just put the switch inside this box and uh, the switch has close, auto, and open. And right now it's on close. Next here I have the solar panel. I got it mounted to the uh, top of the 2x4 here on top of the coop and, um, and it's producing power right now actually and the battery, batteries are not even in the door opener yet. Okay now here on the chicken door opener you plug in the solar panel here and the switch to this one here and here is where our batteries are going to go and I'm going to do that right now. So let's try this out. Put our batteries in. All right, so I have the switch on closed. We're gonna put it on auto. So since there's enough sunlight out, or it's cloudy, but there's enough daylight out that it's gonna open the door. Now what I have to do here is put this cover back on. But we don't want to get the chickens out yet. Now it's going to close again. Now this door is the original door, or the first chicken door opener that I bought. Well, it's been several years now. Uh, I think it was 2017 I bought this. This was their original door. Like I said, their updated door, I have it mounted onto my coupe. Um, that door on the coupe is much better. They got a better design uh, than this one. This one works just fine. There's nothing wrong with this one. It's a little slow and a little noisier, but who cares, right? Um, so this is all set now. My switch is set. Solar panels are on. This is working just right. I put it on close and uh, I have to build the, I have to put out the uh, paddock, the electrical fence from Premier One. Close in the area and, uh, and then I'm going to let them out. Okay. Well, that's pretty. Well, it is sealed in there. Okay. Well, let me get these opened up and we'll, we'll put them out there. All right, guys, so I ain't never done this before. So what we were supposed to do is undo these strings here like that like that ok 
Okay, and where the string is hooked up to the first bar, okay, I got this backwards, is where you're supposed to lay it out. So, let's do, let's do this. Yeah. So you unroll it. You go to the next one. Okay. All right, now it's just a matter of kind of spreading it out and stretching it out a little bit and uh, see how big I can get this. All right, so these here have two spikes on them. So uh, the first one is gonna go right up against the coop here, or the run, and uh, we'll start from here. What I'll have to do is Tighten this up against here. I just got to get this out and uh, then I'll worry about this. Or actually, I need to tie this up now. All right, we finally got a break in the weather. As you can see here, I am standing in a swampy mess. Over here, it's fine inside the the, uh, the closed-in area. Out here, it's, it's a mess. Uh, it has been raining here for the last couple days like crazy. And now we got a beautiful break in the weather. And it looks like a good day to let the chickens out. So uh, let me show you uh, how I connected the fence. Uh, the electrical part of it, and uh, then we'll go about letting the chickens out. All right, now to electrify the fence, I have here the IntelliShock 30. I had this previously mounted on my uh, chicken tractor. I got a wire going around the bottom of the chicken tractor that I had charged. Um, this here is good for two rolls of fencing, two 100-foot rolls, and that's what I have here. Uh, if I wanted to go any bigger than this, put three or four uh, rolls of fence and make this area bigger, I'd have to go to a 60 joule. And they also have a 120 uh, in this style box. Uh, so if I need to go any bigger than this, I had to get the 60 uh, joule box here, the IntelliShock 60. But anyways, this is the 30. 
Um, and how this works is very simple. There's inside there's a battery. You got your solar panel here that charges the battery. Uh, it also comes with a, um, a standard plug. So if you want to charge the battery that way, you can just plug it in. You got your negative and your positive right here. Uh, the negative is hooked up to a grounding rod underneath. And that's right here. And you can see here I got the negative just clipped right onto the base here. And you just push this into the ground. The positive is hooked up here. Okay. And from what I can see, the fencing going along horizontally, not the diagonal. You know, they might be two. But as far as I can see, the ones are going horizontal are the ones that are charged. Um, and then in the back here, there's a button you can turn on right here and electrify the fence. All right, to test the fence, you're going to need one of these testers here from Premier One. You just push the button here and you put the very tip here right up against any one of these horizontal uh, strings while the, uh, the fence is charged and you push it. You see it pulsates. It's pulsating to around 4,000 volts. And the, probably the battery in that box is a little bit drained. Um, but between four and 6,000 volts would be good. So test it at the closest to the box and then test it again at the farthest end and you should get between four to 6,000 volts. All right guys, so we are going to let the chickens out and see how they like their new uh, area here. All right guys, let's release the chickens. Put it on auto. The door is opening. Let's see who's brave enough to come in. Oh, they're all going in the coop. Can you believe this? They're all going in the coop. What a bunch of chickens. Oh yeah, they are chickens. <laughs> or they think that when they hear that sound, they're supposed to go inside. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> it triggers yeah, if they hear that sound, it's automatic for them. Oh, it's time to go inside. Yeah, I don't think they understand. You're supposed to go out the door. You've been in prison now for, what, three years? Come on, chickies. Uh, you don't have to, I don't think. Come on, chickies. Come on, girl. Come on, Lily. She's the first. She's picking on the grass. Come on, girl. Don't be such a chicken. Freedom. The first time they've had freedom. They're loving that grass. Yeah, they're coming out now. Yeah, they love that grass. Come on, rooster. Are you a chicken?
What about uh, little Lily here? She's still afraid, huh? Man, she before she snuck out, now she's got the door wide open. And she is a little chicken. Come on, little chicken. Come on, girl. She's the, uh, the hen that was uh, beat up last year by the other hens and the rooster. Come on, girl. She's like, nah, something's up here. This is different. Something's up. She's all concerned. She's looking at those other hens. Are you a little scared? Don't worry, little girl. They won't hurt you. Come on, little girl. Come on. The other hens won't bother you. Well, they might, but you can run. You guys like that, huh? Fresh greens. Boy, I can see those uh, egg yolks. Nice and yellow. Deep orange, yellow, nice. Yeah, she's coming out, look at that. Yeah, brave girl. Boy, look at this one working up the ground here. Yeah, she's tearing it up, it's good. Bugs and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, Lily's not coming out at all. I don't I don't understand. Door's open. Yeah, she's scared. Usually she just the first chance she gets she'll, she tries to get out that door when you go in there. Now she's like, eh, eh I ain't going out there. Alright, it looks like it has been a success. Uh, they've all been out enjoying the uh, grass and the bugs and all that good stuff. Um, I still got one out here by the uh, coop and uh, I hope they go back inside to lay their eggs. Uh, otherwise I gotta start looking out for them out here. Uh, I'm still worried about the hawks but uh, I'm gonna try and be out here as much as possible and keep my dogs out here. I'm still waiting to get for my dog to get shocked yet with the fence, so that's gonna be funny. They've already done it once around the chicken uh, tractor and uh, that was hilarious. <laughs> but, uh, and that is about it. All right guys, so uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Uh, thank you for watching my video and please like, subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.